story of Apollo and Daphne. Myths are stories created to teach people about something important and meaningful. They were often used to teach people about events that they could not always understand. In ancient Greece, stories about gods, goddesses, heroes, and monsters were an important part of everyday life. And today, we shall tell a tale of dangerous desire, forbidden ego, and arrogance. One glorious day, Apollo, the god of war, triumphantly paraded himself after defeating the terrifying serpent Phaeton. Make way for the slayer of the serpent Phaeton! No monster or beast is a match for my bow and arrows! On his walk, he came across the god of love, Eros. Well, greetings, Eros! Are you here to celebrate my triumph? Most definitely not. I couldn't care less. I am just here to practice my aim to shoot arrows. This young lad certainly looks majestic amidst his childlike physique. No other man, not God, can be greater than me in weaponry. I do not approve of this. Feeling jealous after seeing the God child using the bow and arrow so majestically, Apollo decided to mess with Eros' pride. Hey boy, what are you doing handling such a noble instrument with carelessness? Don't you know that now, all over the world, people refer to the arch as Apollo's weapon because I used it to defend the most dreadful of monsters. Again, I repeat myself, I couldn't care less. I'll be on my way. Eros didn't pay attention to his provocations. He turned his back to Apollo and started to walk away, but the solar god kept taunting him. Right! Go away with that poor accuracy of yours! You will never do a feat like mine! Enough! Your arrows might strike anything else, Apollo, but mine shall strike you. That last of Apollo's insults extrapolated the patience of the god of love, who quickly faced him, picked one of his golden arrows, and fired his weapon. It hit the heart of the god Apollo, who fell to his knees. Oh! How dare you! I've never crushed any big monsters, but I can definitely put one of the most powerful gods like you in your knees if I need to. Eros' arrow didn't really hurt Apollo physically, but now the god Apollo was under the absolute influence of love. The solar god spotted a beautiful nymph. Her name was Daphne. She was the river god Peneus' daughter. The god have given us with a good day for a stroll in the forest. Now who is that beautiful maiden? My heart aches for that lovely face. I must beat her and make her mine. Apollo immediately fell in love with her, but Eros had yet to finish teaching Apollo his lesson. And now I will teach this arrogant god a lesson. Eros hit Daphne with his lead arrow, making her feel disgusted towards Apollo. I felt something go through my heart. What could it be? Greetings, my fair maiden. I'm sorry to bother your day, but may I know your name? Who are you? Stay away from me! 
Why are you running away from me? Can't you see I'm the God Apollo? God of beauty, of music, of prophecy. Your figure makes me sick. Don't get any closer. I'll rather give myself to one of those horrible satyrs than you. However, Apollo couldn't resist the powers of passion and still tried to get closer to the nymph. Can you just give me a chance to know you? No! Not in a million years! Never! Stop chasing me! When Apollo was about to catch her, the nymph ran into the waters of her father's river. Help me, father! Come quickly, my daughter! Run to me! Open the earth to enclose me or change my form, which has brought me into this danger! My love, wait for me, please! When Apollo grabbed her, Daphne started to transform herself into a tree with the help of her father, Pineus. You will never have me! I shall turn you into a tree. No! This can be happening! Daphne has been transformed into a laurel tree. Apollo, already resigned, said, I was denied the chance to love her. But from now on, you will be my sacred plant. From your leaves, I'll make a laurel wreath that I'll wear. And I'll allow it to be worn by those who are living in the moment of triumph. And from that day forward, the laurel wreath has become a symbol of glory. The myth of Apollo and Daphne is a story describing what happens when lust faces rejection. It's a tale about the power of love who can even blind the most powerful amongst the Greek gods.